I'm at uh, Bogey West Music here in Castle Rock, Colorado. Bogey West has been around for 36 years. It is officially right now the longest running record store in the state of Colorado. How about that? Um, smaller store, very nice. Uh, Tammy and Steve are the owners. Uh, and uh, so it's family operated. It's just in there. Some guy has a collection of like 6,000 records talking about selling old blues stuff. I don't know. Oh, really? Really? What? What? So maybe I, it looks like I'll have to come back if they're thinking about getting that. So, uh, but yeah, nice, nice place. It's, it's really kind of cool when you get to these smaller ones to see, you know, what it's like. I found a, I found a number of things I used to have in my collection, bring them back in. Prices seem very good. You know, I'll find out for sure when I get to Discogs um, to find out. But um, yeah, enjoyable visit. Uh, so if you're in Castle Rock, this is south of uh, Denver and uh, Bogey West, right downtown, great little location. Castle Rock's a beautiful town, uh, a lot of cool stuff to see and do down here, so well worth taking a look. So there's the tourist announcement while so, so come on down, say hi to Tammy and Steve at uh, Bogey West Music.
think I'm saying that right. That looks like I'm saying that right. Bogies West Music. And according to um, Leslie, they've been around for, they are the oldest record store in Colorado now. Over over 36 years. Isn't that incredible? I don't think, that, you know, I think this is a newer shop. It's right downtown Castle Rock and uh, in very, very good location down there. Uh, it is, it's not a big store, as you can see, but uh, it, 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 had, it had some good stuff. And, you know, I, was there a billion, like, grail kind of things? No, but I did find some stuff. Um, and it, very friendly. I, everyone, it's like the place you come in to talk, you know. I hear these people coming in, just, well, what you got going on? You can see they've been around a long time. People know them. They just come in to chit chat. Uh, but, you know, there were some young ladies that came in. They wanted some uh, stickers or some magnets or pins or that. Uh, no one bought any music but me. But I, I, I think I took care of them really well that day. Uh, and there, you know, I mentioned in the opening, some guy was selling his collection. I uh, just, you know, life change, and he's he's going to go travel. But he goes, got a lot of old blues, uh, and you know, some jazz. But you know, they don't sell really jazz there. Uh, he goes, I got like two hundred sealed albums, like uh, Yes, Fragile, and stuff like that. So. But this is a smaller store, and you wonder, you know, he knows what he has in his collection. Can they afford it? He wants to sell to them. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I'll have to go back and get a um, kind of an update on what's happening at Boogie's Records. So, uh, yeah, fun place. So what did I pick up? Well, <laughs> I picked up this, uh, Cure Disintegration. This is an original. I have... The rich. I have the vinyl of the original. I just bought a repress, so I had a cover for the original. So did I really need an old G to spend all that money? No. I guess I did. I guess so, because I bought it. Uh, now I will say this. It was priced well. You know, it was below the minimum. I mean, be below, below the medium value on Discogs. And a lot of times they drop this stuff up. It's really clean, a very nice copy. Uh, you know, it has an inner sleeve, and we'll go more through that probably on an early morning Sunday show. But yeah, really happy to get this is my favorite Cure album. And I, I, I did have the original when it came out, so that was nice. I had this on my list of albums that I want. I do have a list that I'm trying to bring back into my collection of ones. And uh, Psychedelic Furs. Uh, this one has Heartbreak Beat. I'm one I used to have. I did not save the vinyl for it. And I've been looking for it. Have not been able to find it. So very nice to bring that back to the collection. Uh, Un Undertones John Peel Sessions. Never have had this. I love the John Peel Sessions. I used to have a variety of them. So it's cool to once in a while find these. They used to be super cheap. Not so much anymore. Um... And again, I'll probably talk about these on, uh, well, I was just talk now, Culture Club. I hated Culture Club. I, I couldn't stand it. I, I, what, you know, his outfits and that, I just thought, what, what, what's wrong with you? Why, why is this? What are you doing? What's going on? I, and the music, I, I just, it wasn't my deal at all. But as you get older, there is memories that come with it. And, you know, at a time, you know, here I'm in my very early 20s. So uh, there's some neat memories. I mean, talk about MTV. Holy cow. I mean, but my God, I, I hated his hat so much and whatever he was wearing. I, I just, I hated it. I, I it just, I, it just made me nauseous. And, uh, so I never bought any Culture Club. I think I had them on CD finally, but this does have, you know, um, I'll tumble for you. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> do you really want to hurt me? Which is pretty damn crisp, um, catchy. You know, I'm not crazy. Um, yeah, I, I now have it. I paid too much for it. This one was more. It was a German uh, press, but from what I could see in Discogs, I think I paid too much. That's the only one I think I paid too much. Everything else was at or below medium price and they're all in good shape well this one wasn't quite there is 
damage here in excess. I've been looking for this. I can never find it when I want it. Then as soon as you buy it, you'll see it everywhere. That's how it happens constantly. It's, you know, I again, one, one I used to have. Yeah, the cover's a little, not, not as great a shape in here, but I didn't pay a lot for it. What you need, listen, like Thebes is on here. I, I mean, it, it was just, yeah, they're hits. So re really nice. I uh, used to have this one. It was fun to see. Bring back in again. Uh, and we have uh, introducing the Heartland according to Terrence Tress Darby. Then wishing well. Da, 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 da. I, I don't know the lyrics. I'm sorry. But uh, I didn't pay a lot for it, which is good because I really didn't. You know, I keep saying I'm trying to keep my collection limited and down and and then I do something like this, where I like, you know, a song, but there is more in this album that I did like. It's just, you have the nostalgia factor, and it makes it very difficult. I think it's just a quandary we all ha can have, and it gets even worse when you're starting something over. And, and, and you know, you go, man, I, I really like that album. Then probably you buy it, and you listen to it, and go, well, maybe I didn't like it as much as I thought I liked it. I, that does happen, you know, and, and, and I'm trying to really, you know, keep things down. And so I am going to have to go through it. I'll be doing a purge again. I have to go through and start deciding what albums am I never going to listen to again. <laughs> Maybe Culture Club will make the list. I don't know. Maybe this one will. I don't know. Uh, but I do know this. I won't get as much as what I paid for it. Uh, yay. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. So, but I picked that up. Yeah, and, and there was some other stuff in there that was, that, that was interesting. Um, that you know what, I, I could have picked up uh, the 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 one from um, the Cure. <laughs> you know, that that, that 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 was very spendy. So I tried to limit myself to some extent. Not didn't do the best. So uh, that's what we got. Bogies. West Music, Bogies West Music is the name of the store, Castle Rock. It is south of um, Denver, a suburb about, about 20 miles south of Denver. A uh, very nice town. There is a there is a big rock called Castle Rock, and you can hike it. We, we've done that trail, and uh, just that um, my wife pooped out beforehand, and my daughter-in-law, so I took them back down. My son went to the top, but eh, that's okay. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, real, real nice town. Very clean store. She's a huge Stevie Nicks fan. She's met Stevie Nicks a number of times. She has a friend that was good friends with her. So she had all these tickets. There's all kinds of autographed Stevie Nicks stuff there. Tons of it. And she's a big fan of Three Dogs Night. She has everything of Three Dog Night. And good for her because I don't and I won't. So I say. So. But thanks for dropping by, as always, for another uh, tour. You know, eventually I'll do the big ones, like Twist and Shout and Wax Tracks. But people know them. I'm just trying to show some of the other ones out there, these small ones that can always use the business. And a lot of people may not know about them. So hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Bye.